Strange News Power Normal Haunted Frontier Field Home to the Twins Triple A Team and the Rochester Red Wings in Rochester, New York. There are many through stories of why spirits decided to haunt this 13,500 seat major minor league bullpark in Upper State, New York. Rumours are that bones were found when land was being dug out to build the stadium back in 1996. Could have been human, but not sure. I don't know, what, know if the, they found bones. There are a bunch of buildings at the site. The front of the field is cu- currently located. One of them was an old warehouse. It's actually burnt down due to construction. It's actually going to be part of the ballpark. They found some old books, some shoes. I think it dated back to the early 1900s. Tells me, the witness tale that says, the warehouse is once an old schoolhouse, and everybody knows that old schoolhouses from the early 1900s were almost always haunted. But, but according to Mason, doesn't seem to be where the main ghost of the whole field is. There's a paper company that was on the site as well as that that tore down to build front of field. Apparently, they said there were an old janitor who that haunted the paper company. His spirit didn't leave, and when they tore it down, it still rooms the holes here at front of field. Once you say paranormal investigations, the ghost seeking society that visited front of field in Frontier Field in 2004 officially stamped it as haunted. Both director J. Burkhead and medium and Miss Ali said ghosts were flocking toward them once they got to the field, but some ghosts were different than others. A lot of them came to me. They were like, oh, don't you love it here? It's such a great place. Have you seen a baseball yet? We'll get to watch all the games for free. Lee says, I found myself being confronted by two or three very hostile entities. But Hart says, we were very belligerent. They were challenged, very challenging. They were very threatening. There's some photos available online. First is a floating head, or second is a floating entities. Clubhouse manager Kevin Johnson told says in the book Field of Screams that he heard noises going up and down stadium at a flight elevator. He was so scared one late night at night, he walked around the hallways with a baseball bat. Head groundskeeper Gina Bronomolo, a ghost skeptic, once spread it out of his office. After seeing a dark shadow and hearing a loud sounds coming from the storage room, he never leaves the stadium by himself anymore. There's also talks about eerie appearances of crows. The birds that are well that are known to be well known are omens of death between the months of January and February. They're there here every day and every night. They're literally thousands of them. It's a bit like the scene from the birds. <laughs>